Hi, Cal from BHP UK, and we've been working on the Euro 5 Ducati Hypermotards at the moment. We've got a couple in that we've used for development. Uh, big thanks to the guys that brought these in. These are running the Continental M4 C ECUs. At the moment, this is a job that we've got to do with the ECU off the bike. It can't be done diagnostically at the moment, but we can still tune them up great. Because these are Euro 5 bikes, they're running lean as standard. If we just show you a comparison of the fueling here, uh, you can see that this is a wide open throttle uh, with and without the map on. The blue one is the bike is standard and you can see all the way up to about 8,000 RPM, the bike is still running lean and that's a wide open throttle. That's even worse at partial throttle openings and the feel of the bike really is compromised. The bikes are lumpy, the power delivery isn't smooth and the power delivery isn't optimized. If you've been watching the Euro 4 uh, Hypermotor development videos, you know we absolutely love these bikes. They're a fantastic bike. And I think the only thing that makes them any better is if you've mapped them to give you smooth power delivery and gain a little bit of power at the top end. So what have we actually managed to do with these bikes? These have both come to us decatted and with uh, aftermarket cans on. One of them's running uh, an SC Projects can and an Arrow decat and a KNN filter. This particular bike's running the Austin cans and decat with, again, with a KNN filter. The bike's made about 104 brake horsepower stock, well, with the, with the, with the hardware modifications, uh, and after the map, at wide open throttle, we gained about six brake horsepower, taking them to 110 at the back wheel. That's only part of the story. The torque now comes in much stronger at a much lower RPM, uh, at about 5,000 RPM. As you can see from the plot here, the torque curve is much smoother and much flatter uh, after the remap. The biggest gains though are made at partial throttle. As you can see here, this is a 25% throttle opening. We've tuned the fueling and tuning so the bike now carries on producing power over the standard bike. As standard, the bike started to die at about 6,500 RPM. Now it carries on increasing power all the way through to red line. At 50%, you can see, again, the, the power delivery is far more linear and at every RPM, the bike is producing more power and torque. I think we gained about 13 brake horsepower at 50% throttle. At 75%, the, the story carries on, it's, it's the same again. Power delivery is far more linear and the bike is producing more power over the stock bike. What really stands out though is the way that the power is delivered. We just produces far more torque at any RPM and at any throttle opening. The power delivery is far smoother and far more linear. It really is a different bike to ride after the remap. With these bikes, if you're not local to us, unfortunately they're not covered on our ECU flasher at the moment. However, we do offer a postal service where you can uh, post the ECU to us. If you get in contact with the guys at the office, they'll be happy to send you a link on how to remove the ECU. If you're new to the channel and if you haven't already done so, I'd like to ask you to subscribe to the channel. It really does help us out and we've got some great projects in the, in the pipeline and I'll keep you notified of all the projects that are coming through the door.